Good evening, WestCon. I'm student meteorologist Matthew DiLoretto. Thanks for tuning into your latest episode of Meteorology with Matt. We had a pretty nice day in the Danbury area, just some increasing clouds ahead of our next storm system as seen by our pretty nice sunset out there. Those current conditions as of 5 p.m., looking at 53 degrees, dew point of 43 degrees, so that humidity is starting to creep up a little bit, especially with those southeast winds blowing at 11 miles per hour. And that will continue ahead of our next storm system, which will bring us those chances for heavy rain tomorrow during the day. And it will leave us with an unsettled week. And once that front passes through, lots of clouds and showers will be kind of lingering around. And dare I say that the Danbury area may even see their first flakes of the season early Monday morning. I'll get more to that in just a couple of minutes. We are high and dry right now in the Danbury area for the time being as this high pressure kind of moves offshore, giving way to this very strong low pressure system that's been spinning over the Midwest. The warm front to our southwest will begin to move up and over us overnight, increasing their shower coverage. For a cold front tomorrow, follow, catches up with it actually and brings us a period of heavy rain and possibly an embedded thunderstorm. High pressure behind it will try to move in, but this low is going to kind of become cut off from the jet stream and slowly meander eastward over New England for the next several days. So that's why we're going to be locked in that unsettled pattern. But the national radar showing this storm system pretty well right now with this cold front splitting the eastern half of the country. That's going to be pushing east, bringing us that chance for heavy rain and some thunderstorms tomorrow. Even some snow over the northern U.S. and Canada, but I don't think we'll be seeing much in the way of that here, at least in Danbury. Tonight, though, we are going to remain mild as that warm front approaches. Temperatures around 50 degrees. We'll see showers increase in coverage once again as that warm front moves through. And winds will be increasing out of the southeast around 10 to 15 miles per hour transporting in more of that warm and moist air. Tomorrow, that's why we're going to be seeing temperatures in the mid-60s. We'll definitely feel more humid out there as well. Southerly winds 15 to 25 miles per hour may gust over 30 miles per hour at times in some of those heavier downpours, even as a chance of a thunderstorm embedded within that cold front, but nothing too crazy for this time of year. And that extended forecast looks pretty unsettled. We're going to be seeing around one to two inches of rain tomorrow when all is said and done. That cold front will pass through, clear us out pretty nicely for Friday night, and we'll drop down into the upper 30s. Saturday, we are going to start off with some sunshine. Temperatures will get up into the upper 50s, but clouds will quick, quickly increase ahead of another short wave disturbance that's going to be moving through. And this one will have a lot of cold air aloft to work with, so we may see some heavy showers, maybe even some embedded small hail as those cold temperatures will cause the growth of ice crystals. Once that moves through, colder air settles in Saturday night and we'll see temperatures near freezing once again, leaving us with a cooler Sunday remaining unsettled as yet another disturbance takes aim at us Sunday evening. There's going to be an increase in showers and there may be enough cold air once those lows fall to the low 30s to give us our first flakes of the season, though there probably won't be any accumulation in the Danbury area. The higher elevations of northern New England and the normal lake effect snow belts will be seeing quite a bit of snow, but for us, we might just see our first flakes, leaving us with a chilly and raw day Monday as those showers continue. We'll sit and spin under that upper level low, and it's going to be just cloudy. Not a great day out there. Lows will fall to near freezing once again Monday night. We'll clear out maybe a little bit more for Tuesday with less shower coverage, but I think those clouds are going to be remaining for the most part. Temperatures once again in the upper 40s, and we'll keep you updated as the week continues. Make sure to follow us on social media if you want to find out more, and have a great rest of your afternoon.